Chris, can you come and join us for a second here? Hey, man, welcome to God TV. Thank you. <laughs> you were just uh, you were just in Europe. We were, yeah, we were in Germany, yeah, in what Nuremberg. Was that uh, it was Awakening Europe. Awakening yeah. Europe. It was, uh, God TV was streaming as well. Yeah, yeah, that really was pretty fun. awesome. So good. It was, uh, stadium full of people it was amazing it was awesome. so so awesome so tell tell us chris for those of you you know people that are watching that might not be familiar with who you are um i don't there's probably maybe one or two in the whole world but tell those one or two like tell us a little bit about um just what's going on in your life and what's happening and talk about family and whatever yeah, yeah. my name is chris kilala i've been um a worship leader with jesus culture for about 15 years which it started in our youth group so i'm sure many may know but the, for those who don't know banning leapshire who's speaking tonight was our youth pastor mm -hmm. and um so anyhow i started playing drums became a worship leader in the youth group and things have kind of grown from there but now i'm currently the worship pastor at jesus culture church in sacramento Come on. california and um so we just been plugging away at that it's almost been a year since we launched the church and things are amazing we're getting ready to record an album live at our church over the course of four Sundays, um, which is really exciting um, to have the opportunity to just uh, lead these new songs and um, have a lot of sessions and, and services where we can just get, hopefully capture some amazing moments. So um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. That's coming been up writing, in September. Coming up in September, and I think the album's coming out sometime in January, so that's right. new and live album. your wife is expecting? My wife's expecting, yeah, what due in October. October. Yeah, we're having a girl. Um, so that's, that's uh, yeah, definitely exciting and busy. It's been um, you know, a lot of doctor visits and we've yeah. moved uh, again. We sold our house in Reading. It's just been a crazy uh, time since about April. We've been traveling, songwriting, um, and getting ready to do a recording, but it's awesome. Going, it's a good going. season. Now, a big part of that craziness was moving down to Sacramento. And obviously, um, a lot of the viewers out there will, will know Jesus Culture because uh, as, a, as a team, as a worship band you play at events all around the world but i know from your heart that actually moving to sacramento was way more than just a move it was actually about planting the local church jesus culture sacramento and your part in that tell the guys out here a little bit uh, about the significance of the local church for you oh it's huge i mean i grew up at the uh, bethel church in redding california and um i was there before a lot of the like even Pastor Bill was there. I was there. Um, my parents started going there back How in, old were you? in the 80s. I, was, I mean, I was zero. You were, okay, you were <laughs> when I was, I was in my mother's oh, womb, I was I going to Bethel Church. So I grew up in the local church. Yeah. It's, it's where I, I, I remember encountering the Lord when I was 14 at a youth camp. And um, you know, just having Pastor Banning and all, Brian and Jen Johnson pouring into my life over the years. So for me, the local church was very special. So all that to say, to move to Sacramento and kind of come from being, you know, a son in a house, just the covering and stepping out was a huge, it was a big step yeah, for a lot of us. And, and the, kind of making that shift from being um, just a son to a, also now a father in a community and raising up, um, you know, the, sort of the next generation in my, in my world, uh, next generation of worshipers. Um, it's been huge. It's been scary. It's been a, a learning process, yeah. but um, so rewarding to, you know, weekly go after God and see people encounter him and um, experience breakthrough and freedom, whether it's in worship or whether it's, um, you know, have, you know, God touching them with a miracle, whatever it is. It's, it's just so rewarding yeah. to, um, you know, we get to, like Phil was saying, we get to travel a lot, but to be able to come back to a home base where there's family, there's community, and we're going after God and we have shared experiences. It's, it's really yeah. powerful. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of people last, um, you know, why plant a church? You know, a lot of people didn't know uh, a lot of times we've been on the road, a lot of people go, well, I didn't even know you guys planted a church and things like that. Uh, but one of the things that, we, uh, that we've really been passionate about with Jesus culture as a movement is that we always want to have a local expression of what God's doing globally through us. And really this, this heart that just says, hey, if, if we're not doing it at home, yeah. like we care more about doing it at home than we do out on the road and whatnot. And um, you've gotten through this journey, I mean, you know, going from the band to the worship pastor, obviously you're still in the band. Um, how's that process been with just building up worship teams? And, you know, uh, we have a lot of worship leaders watching, a lot of leaders, pastors, church planners. Um, talk to me a little bit about that process. How's that been for you? It's been amazing. Um, I think the, the biggest uh, the biggest thing that we're trying to do is we want, you know, the, the, the awesome thing about inheritance is that 
people can instantly step into something that you've spent years sort of paving the way for. Yeah. Um, but I think the challenge for us as worship pastors and this, you know, this current generation that we're raising up is to sort of model what character, integrity, faithfulness, servanthood looks like, you know, because I remember, I mean, for us, like when I started wor- being on a worship team and a worship band, it wasn't like, you know, there was never the thought of, you know, hey, I could eventually support a family doing yeah, this or, sure. you know, I'll eventually, eventually be on a stage with, you know, thousands or God TV streaming. Right. That was never a part of the equation. It was like we were, we were leading on, the, uh, you know, at street, uh, street outreach and we were leading in small groups and we were um, leading a children's ministry and we we're setting up chairs and setting up the stage. So, um, you know, and sleeping on church floors yeah. when we travel and we weren't pay- getting paid, you know, but we just had such a heart to, to worship. And I think the thing um, for us as we're raising up this new generation and that I'm finding as we're, as I'm building a team is like, hey, I just want to model and I'm encouraging the band like, hey, let's just model what serving it looks like, what yeah. um, integrity, character, yeah. and sort of keep that, the, the, you know, the main thing. So it's been really fun. It's been amazing. And I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So, yeah. So currently um, I say we're because I'm obviously part of the team, part of the church. We're doing two services, uh, getting ready to go to three. We're doing mobile church. We are? Yeah. Oh, no. Did you know that? I didn't know that. So. We're going to three Breaking services. <laughs> oh, man. Live on God TV. If you're a musician. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just ignore that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, yeah. That's happening next week. So get on that. Oh. No. Um, but, uh, you know, being a, being a part of that, you know, we do mobile church. Mm-hmm. You know, we're meeting at a high school theater um, every week. And... Uh, uh, how has that process been um, for, for, for us as far as, like, let's just talk practical for a second. Like, what does that look like, you know, every Sunday? You know, we don't have anything stationary. Yeah. yeah. So we are. We're setting up in a, in a high school theater and sometimes in a cafeteria. And um, it's, I, th- I think the best part about it is just seeing, like, even the band and everybody, like, showing up early to, to, to help set up, you know, the stage and stack chairs. I mean, it is a challenge. Um, because, you know, just with rehearsals and everything like that, we just don't have that luxury right now. Yeah. But what I do love is just seeing people, all, everybody come together, pull their weight, yeah. do what they can, and everybody just has the best attitude about it. Yeah. And we have just the most amazing sort of core team of volunteers. And, I mean, many of you guys know, you, you know, out there that are, that, are, that are doing this every week. For us, it's somewhat new, you know, just... But I think it's amazing. It's amazing to see every week people, everybody comes together and, um, and just to, you know which is a lot of, it's a lot of work, to yeah. be honest. And see people come together, serve day in and day out, and um, just to, to provide a place where people can come and encounter His presence. It's huge. I think when, when you value family in the way that we do mm-hmm. as Jesus culture, that expression of family, like you contribute in the family. So there's yeah. this yeah. whole idea that actually the, for church, like I've seen you guys on a Sunday morning. There's, you know, you need a change of clothes because you're pu- putting out <laughs> chairs and there's, yeah. there's a whole truck to unload. And, it's, <laughs> and I know, like Chris says, there's so many people out there who are watching that are a part of the real life church experience. It's family. You put your hands in, you get dirty and you get involved. And, and that, that's, what it's, that's what it's really like. And it's good to hear those stories because we're here in this event and we get to come and be in Long Beach, California. We get to be here in LA. And, uh, and it's great to have these conference experiences. But also there is the reality of everyday life and community which you are building, this family, which you're building. And it is like these guys uh, from an outsider somewhat to look at what they are building. It's a genuine expression of family and community. And uh, seeing them do that in Sacramento is so beautiful because they have a heart for that city, for that region, as well as uh, the global vision that God has given us as Jesus culture. Like this thing has hands and feet in people's lives in a city. And uh, it is just And it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, let's let's move into tonight. Um, last night at conference, this is our, I think, fourth or fifth year being in L.A. Yeah. And, um, uh, and it's obviously something that God's put on heart, our heart. Um, you know, we want you that are watching, we want you to stay online with us and worship with us tonight and hear the word and, and be a part of what God's doing here tonight. You know, you're leading tonight. Like, talk to us a little bit about uh, what this conference means to you. What are you anticipating for tonight? Um, You know, what would you have to encourage us with? I think the thing, you know, what I love in this conference, again, we look forward to it every year. Um, People just come so hungry and expectant to see God come and and touch them. And I think what I do love, you kind of mentioned, like, you know, people being able to take, take this home and, 
I think the amazing thing, I mean, I encountered the Lord in a youth camp when I was 14 and it changed my life forever. And I know that that's happening in the room. Yeah. Yeah. And I pray as, you know, people are watching on God TV yeah. that people are, um, that it's not just a, a one night thing or if you're watching just a, you know, a, a, an episode, if you will, on TV, but that really that God would change their life forever. And what I do, I love hearing the testimonies like you're saying, like, you know, I, I've run into people on the streets, hey, we came last year and God radically changed my life. Yeah. And you know, now I'm, you know, whatever, out on the streets and wow. I've seen so many people get saved. And so I just love hearing those testimonies of the, the lasting fruit of what God does. So I'm really expecting for that tonight, yeah. you know, and it's been already an amazing conference, but I know God has so much more to do tonight. So, so I'm just really excited about that. Awesome. Well, we should let you go get ready. Yeah, we'll, we'll let thank you, you do that, time. Man. Thanks for taking some time to hang out with us. Yeah. Oh, my pleasure. Being a part Thanks, of, uh, of this stream.